Hey guys, I've been getting some questions on social media and private messages and emails talking about the new Heavy 12. So I want to get a video out to you guys real quick and tell you a little bit about it. Just got it in a few days ago. You guys know the Heavy Shot brand, the Heavy Shot Duck. It was very, very popular. It has been for 20 years. Still is popular today, but we all know the price range is, is pretty high. Well, they now rebranded, called it Heavy 12. It's the same stuff guys, 12 grams per cubic centimeter. Deadly, lethal. And now it's in a 25 count box for half the price that the 10 shell box was. Now the reason I'm holding the heavy bismuth box in my hand is I shot this last year, three inch six shot, with my 20 gauge and my 12. It was phenomenal. I already loved heavy metal because of the bismuth in it. Less cripples, but when we went to this, it was even less. I mean, it's just, they're dead. You know, people say, yeah, still, it's, it works it does I used it for years um, it's the density on that's like I think it's like 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter now the difference between that and bismuth bismuth's around 9.6 grams per cubic centimeter so that was an astronomical difference but more of a difference than that is the heavy 12 this is 12 grams per cubic centimeter guys and so the penetration and the lethality is ridiculous and like I said, I just kind of brought this as a reference because it was a game changer for us when we started sh shooting straight bismuth. So now to go to heavy 12 is just going to be a whole nother game. They offer in 12, 20, and 28 gauge. And uh, we end up going with the 3 inch 6 shot. And we're pumped about using it this season. Something to remember too is you can use 3 shot sizes smaller on this. So because of the density and the lethality, and then you're getting more pellets on target. And that's big for me. I started shooting six shot a couple years ago and I just, I really like the difference that I just get more pellets down range on the target and it just covers the bird more. So now I'm out here with Harrison out at a friend's house and me and him are gonna shoot a few different guns. He's got his Stoger. 3500 I've got my Browning a5 and he's also got his Browning Maxis So we're gonna shoot the heavy 12 that we just talked about earlier in this, this video And I do want to clarify something. It's something easy to get mixed up I know I did and I know several of the people I've talked to have and that is this is not heavy X Heavy X is heavy 10. This is heavy 12. So heavy X is just about 10 grams per cubic centimeter and heavy 12 is 12 grams per cubic centimeter so more density it's actually heavier than lead lead is 11 grams so we're gonna go out here and just see how it patterns I haven't shot it yet want to see how it does and uh, we're just gonna use the old backyard method nothing fancy so for all you pattern psychos out there that want the 30 inch and circle and all that I'm not doing that today just got a little duck uh, paper that we've used a lot and just kind of see what it looks like freehand shoot it at about 20 yards and uh, let's see how it looks I have a full choke in mind and when Harrison shoots his he'll kind of say what he has so you guys just know that variances we all know there's a thousand variances you can do you can put improved cylinder you can put skeet you can put modified you can put full so we're just gonna shoot what we have see what it looks like and check it out let's go all right, as you guys know I have the Browning a5 I've had this for a while and I have the kicks high flyer full choke in this I shot that all year last year I never changed it out but I've grown up shooting modified my whole life and that works great. Some people use skeet, use whatever you want. I'm just saying this is what I have in my gun right now. Here's the heavy 12 three inch six shot. So you have a ton of pellets in there and it's 12 grams per cubic centimeter. It's not TSS, but it is the heaviest out there. And uh, one thing I forgot to say earlier was this is the heavy shot duck. So which used to come in a 10 shell box, now it comes in 25 and they reduced the price by almost 50%. So anyways, that's what we're gonna shoot today. They just rebranded it. So I'm pretty pumped to shoot it because I mean, we all know it's not the cheapest thing out there, but it is the deadliest, one of the deadliest things out there. So let's go ahead and shoot this at 20 yards and see what it does. Let's go take a, let's go take a look. <laughs> Go take a look, see. It looks pretty nasty though. <laughs> if I don't not if I don't say it to myself. And Jason, it didn't mess your fence up. Got a couple of nicks, but what do you think guys? You think he's dead? He's dead. He did. I love six shot. I switched to six shot last year on the bismuth. So I'm a big 
small shot because you're getting so many more pellets. And with the density of the 12 grams per cubic centimeter, it, it goes right through them. I mean, it punches right through them. When you're shooting steel, I've shot steel my whole life. I, I get it, guys. It's all about what you can afford and your expendable money, right? Not, not We all can't just sit there and go buy this stuff. But you're going to shoot less shells, less cripples. So there is, a, there is a really good benefit to it. Maybe you have a special hunt you want to go on and buy a box, whatever. But anyways, using the six shot, whether it's bismuth or heavy 12, you're getting serious penetration. I've watched steel bounce off ducks, chest, or, or like a, a honker's chest at 25 yards. Just You can see pellets bouncing off. So this is penetration. Any bird I cleaned last year using just heavy bismuth, let alone this stuff, heavy 12, and never found any in them. It just cleaned through them, all the vitals and everything. So let's uh, try Harrison's guns out just to give you guys different points of view and see how that goes. So Titus shot his A5. I'm gonna start off, I got my Browning Maxis. It's 28 inch barrel with a Pattern Master black duck. So it's supposed to be equivalent to a modified. I think it's a little bit tighter than that, but we'll see what happens compared to his fix or his uh, kicks full. Got the heavy 12, number six is again ounce and a quarter so we'll see what happens well i pulled it a little bit a little high but dude that's probably even tighter than your kicks i know it looks like it huh see that that's unreal uh, i pulled it a little bit yeah it's still centered Whoa, that's tighter, dude, for sure. That's way tighter. That is just more concrete. Like, it actually kept the pattern. Right. That might just be a better choke, you know, like. For that shell. For that the, shell the, and gun, that. You know, you never. Yeah, and that gun. But that's. There's no, there's tighter. not very many stragglers, like. No, there's not. I mean, even. This is the center of it. Even if you look, you know, one flyer here and one there and a couple here, but there's nothing out here. Man, I would have liked to have seen that down just about. I know. Six. Eight. That's, that's pretty nasty maybe this gun shoots a little higher than i thought because <laughs> i put the bead right on his face <laughs> i don't know this is actually my first ever duck gun that i bought when i was like like i don't even know 10 or 11 years old i saved all my money it's more of a budget gun i got the stoger m3500 it has been cerakoted and dipped but still the same gun so it gives you another i don't know point of view i guess compared to just two brownings so again we got the heavy 12 number six shot we'll see what it does and this is also this is a 28 inch barrel with a pure gold modified waterfowl choke so pure gold's mainly a, a sporting choke brand but they do make waterfowl chokes and i've been shooting this for a long time so we'll see what happens Yeah, a little high, but that's incredible with those number sixes. Yeah, I'd say he's dead. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking pattern. I mean, there's a few flyers, mm -hmm. but I mean, that's going to happen. That's a pretty good looking pattern there. I think a lot of it's going down shot sizes, you know. You and I have been talking for the last few years. I've been shooting, I shot fours for, well, I shot threes for a long time, and then like, Three seasons ago, we started talking a lot, and I, I, shot, I shot fours the last three years, and then last year, we started venturing, you know, to the to the bismuth and stuff, shooting even sixes, and even the heavy teal. I've shot some of that, the heavy teal fives and sixes, and that's just unbelievable. I'm a firm believer in shot density over pellet size. I mean, that right there is 100% dead. I'd rather have that right there than, you know, you know, five number twos or five BBs on there. Dead duck. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Like I said, this is basically the Heavy Shot Duck rebranded, and it's the Heavy 12. I uh, just pay attention to that because there is Heavy X also out there, which is Heavy 10. Then Heavy Bismuth, and they got all the brands. We love it. I know everybody has their preference and brand. You always kind of start getting in a little bit of a, a little bit of a fight and match when it starts when you start talking about people's guns and their ammo and their dogs, but. 
again, this is what we shoot and what we like. And uh, again, before we ever even worked or talked to Heavy Shot, we were already shooting that. And when we started shooting heavy metal, seeing the bismuth in it and what stuff does outside of uh, steel, it's amazing what it does, the penetration. And I know for a fact I shot less shells last year shooting that bismuth. So I'm excited to try out the Heavy 12 this year. Great pattern. We shot three different guns. You can kind of see what it did. And guys, go check it out. Hitting the store soon. See you on the next one.